What's up guys, it's Gabe here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm visiting my seventh stadium. And that is Houston, Texas at Minute Maid Park. Thank you. What's up, y'all? Hello. We in the H town. <laughs> what you mean you wasn't ready? <laughs> anyway, check out our hotel view. Look at that. For, straight from our hotel, we can see Minime Park. We'll be there very shortly. Here we go. Our first time in Minime Park. This is nice. What do you think? Straight from last dive bar. Huh? Straight from last dive bar. How are we doing? You doing good? Doing good? We're doing good. Hey guys. One, two. Cool. Here goes Mickey Mouse number two. All right, so after exploring Minute Maid Park for a bit with Daniel and Natalie, I decided I'm gonna start off this trip with some helmet nachos. Pretty good so far. Daniel, you still thinking about it? Still gonna see what I wanna get. Not too sure yet. And then what you getting at? Chicken tendies and fries. You can never go wrong with that. But oh, yeah, and now I'm gonna show you guys where our seats are at for today. We are in section 116, and check it out. Once again, managed to somehow get right next to where the umpires are gonna, I think, walk out, unless they walk on the other side, but we're gonna be right here, dugout, A's dugout's right here, and we, you can pretty much see everything that's going on here. Every moment you go off the field. As a true humanitarian, Roberto used his far too brief moment in this world. Alright guys, so when we came in today, the Astros were giving away something and that something is a replica ring. My girlfriend Nat here is gonna unbox it for us real quick. Alright, so what we got here is a 2021 AL Champions ring and it's Jordan Alvarez's ring. So if you want to do the honors, you can. how that looks so for those who really don't know I guess most of us thought it was gonna be like a plastic ring you know but this ain't Oakland folks this is a, a real metal ring so this is what Jordan Alvarez's American League Championship ring looks like pretty cool all right and we got Tony Kemp and we, we got Tony Kemp and Machine as well as Steven Vogt wearing 21 today to represent Roberto Clemente Day. For the Oakland Athletics, second baseman number 21, Tony Kemp. take the lead. Currently the Astros are beating the A's 1-0 and as you guys can probably tell through the camera, I'm not sure if you can or not, but it's, it is ridiculously loud in here. And I'm not talking about just the fans, it's just the surround sound in here is crazy. It is. It's like literally, the way I can best describe this is that if someone had a boom box right behind me and they put it on blast, that's how loud it is. I mean, maybe I'm dumb and the thing is literally like around here somewhere and that's why it sounds like that, but I don't see one and it's ridiculously loud. All right, come on, Brownie. We got Sean Murphy on second. All right, you gotta walk. And here comes Pinhead Ryan's favorite, Ramon Laureano. 
Oh, here we go. That's one. Oh, wow, that was a nice play. Runner goes to third. They might check what happened at first. Let's see what happened here. He's out. Oh, wow, they overturned it. For sure they thought that. Steven Vogt just walked and now the bases are loaded with one out and here is Garcia. He's been hot in Texas, so. First baseman number 76, Dermis Garcia. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be one run and they're gonna send home another. The A's take the lead. Let's go. Let's go Garcia, stay hot. Let's go Murph, Ramon. So, score update, it's the bottom of the sixth inning. It is tied at two. Pretty close game. A lot of these games are close in Texas, which is very strange, but I like it. I like being competitive, so. James Caprillion is looking good so far, but so is Lance McCullers. Hopefully the A's can try to get some runs here, get out of this inning. All right, come on, James. Need one more out here. Where'd that go? There we go. Love to see it. This game is still tied. Let's go, James. All right, so we're currently in the seventh inning, and um, we got free pencils. We got in line because I really wanted a pretzel because I saw the lady next to me eating one. And then we just started talking, and then he's pretty much like, I'm going to throw these away anyway, so just come back in the seventh inning, and then I'll give you a free one. And he gave us two. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. So far, I will say that there's a lot of Astro friends and employees who have been very, very kind to me and her and Daniel. It's been crazy. Everybody's been really chill around here. It's the Chick-fil-A y'all got in here. It makes people nice. <laughs> when the first game first started, it, there was not many people here. Everybody it seemed to come here now. Pretty nice atmosphere if you ask me. Murph, look at them wheels. Oh, oh, it's going three. Yay! All right, guys. So we're still we're losing five to two, but something crazy just happened. Daniel and I were looking over at the Fox camera over here, which I'll show you. Um, and pretty much, we were on live TV. I personally didn't know we were on, but Daniel said he knew. And literally, dude gave us a thumbs up. And, I, and literally. People started sending us messages like, you're on TV, you're on TV, so here's the clip. It was insane. Not even 30 seconds after one of my boys told me. And I'm sorry, Ned, they kind of cut you out. It's okay. I, I figured they would. But it's okay, you're here with me. Period. I know I'm here. My shoulder was there. Yeah. You can see my shoulder in the clip. That's fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going down to the top of the ninth inning. The Angels losing five to two. And they already got one out, so it looks like they could be wrapped up. And this game went by pretty fast, so let's see how it ends. Here we go, it all comes down to this. Garcia down to his final strike, last out here. He's lose five to two, and the Astros win. Trained so much. Alright guys, so this is where I'm going to end my video. The A's unfortunately lose to the Astros 5-2. to two. So it was our, all of our first time and we all saw the A's lose unfortunately. And that I think that messes up our, or my little thing of every time I go to a new stadium for the first time, the A's win. But how was your guys' experiences overall in it Minute Maid? Cool. It was great. Astro fans, fire. Love you guys. Changed my whole perspective on the team. 
Great. Great stadium. And what about you, Nat? Lemonade's really good. Get it if you go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would hope so. I mean, it is named after Minute Maid, after all. But yeah, just like what Daniel said, I mean, it's pretty crazy. You know, I was expecting a lot different, uh, a different type of atmosphere going into Minute Maid Park. But just like Daniel said, he hit it right on the nail. It just, fans were awesome. Fans were awesome there. And hopefully we can see a win tomorrow. That's all. For, so... But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget, guys, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Let's see. How to get away from all that toxic energy.